Hi everyone, welcome back to the React Chess video tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn about the lifecycle methods in the React. So first of all, uh, we will learn what is the lifecycle method, why we use it. Then we will uh, use some lifecycle methods with an example, with an actually very simple example. So stay with us. So now let's start with the first question. What is the lifecycle method? When our page is loaded to the browser, then uh, there is some stages like uh, initialized page, and page is rendered and destroyed like this uh, when first of all uh, page is initialized then something mount like uh, some methods and some functions are mount then let's say we click on some buttons then they will update it and after that uh, we just go out this the page all right then this is uh, unmounted so this is the life cycle and there is some methods they will uh, help you out so now the question is why we need them uh, so let's say we want to call an api after the mounting and when just uh, any component is updated we want to show some messages and we want to add some colors and anything that we got an event and we can do that all right so now let's understand it with the example so i have the two uh, components one is the app.js and another is the nav.js all right so we will understand the all the things that we are going to hear so first we will uh, learn that how we can uh, get the initializing state then mounting updating and unmounting all right so first of all I'm just uh, going to define here constructor so when I just define the constructor this is uh, initialized automatically all right so when it will call and this is the first thing that always be called so this is the initialization method so I'm just uh, going to write here uh, constructor and when we just uh, load this then you will see that constructor will be loaded first of all all right so I just got it here now uh, I'm just going to add here uh, render and it will be called after updating all right and there's some one more thing component did uh, mount all right and it will be already uh, automatically called when all HTML all components will be mounted all right so when I just call it okay so there is something I just have to call the super I think all right so you know, now you can see that first of all constructor is called then render is called and then uh, uh, component did mount will be called because when everything is mounted this function will be called automatically all right so now here we got the three things that we learn uh, this is the initial state this is the updating state and this is the uh, when everything is mounted all right so now how we can check this uh, check the event for unmount the component or all right that means destroy the component so in this video we are not going to too much detail of the every life cycle this is all about the uh, brief and basics in the next video we i will tell you uh, uh, i will make a specific video for every every life cycle and uh, check in the details all right so now uh, i will show you that how we can uh, call a function on unmount of the function all right so for that i'm just going to call this uh, first of all i need a state all right so so i'm just going to write here this dot state and in the state i have a show state right and if you are not aware about the uh, uh, states and all then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box so I'm just going to write here this dot state equal to true this dot state dot show is equal to true then nav component will be here why i'm just going to write the uh, this because i just want to show you about the 
destroy life cycle method all right and I need a button to update it toggle navbar on this function on click just call just update the state this dot set state and here I can just update the state with the show and it will be always opposite of this dot state dot show all right so now you can see that every time this will be hide and show all right and uh, render method is always updating here you can see that all right so now I'm just going to write here component component date unmount and it would automatically call when just we hide the component all right so just call here and you can write here simply right so I'm just going to remove them and when I just going to click on here down then now you can see that this function is already called from here all right so this is about the basics of lifecycle method if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel and in the upcoming videos we have lots of stuff to learn the react so stay tuned with us thanks for watching this video